All right, so this time you did hear me whistle and you did see a dent. Anyways, we are going to be working on this front fender um, with a different tool. Uh, you've probably seen me mention it. It is my, one of my top five tools of early 2019. And yes, it is the Killer Whale Tail. The Killer Whale Tail, by far, if you can get that tool on a body line, I'm telling you, it is going to make your life and your dents a lot easier, a lot cleaner and you're gonna be happy. You look forward to doing body lines. So let's get into it. Let me show you how it works. Talk about this crown right here. So even though I can push with this, I push with the, the what I'm referring to is this killer whale tail, right like that you can see that I'm going to make contact right here in the middle and I'm gonna rock it. But first I'll probably try to find my tip up here. But before I get ahead of myself or ahead of anything, is that we've gotta knock down these crowns right here. And you have crowns right here and you have crowns up here and over here. Well, we've got to release that tension so the metal flow can easily go back to the center. So when we're pushing the center, it wants to naturally go there without fighting. When you have a high and tightness all the way around a dent, you're creating tug of war. You're it, it's not going to let you push easily in that low because it's going to force it and you're gonna make, that's where you make high spots, unwanted pushes, force pushes. It gets really messy right off the bat. Well, today I'm actually going to be using these new tap downs um, and they are from Hayes Freeman, a really good tap down. I actually, I, they're generally created for pushing because they have a steel plate inside of it. So it'll last a lot longer when you're pushing. There, I'm going to start from the bottom. Just now I just want to let you know, you don't always have to knock down, you have to determine what is going to be first? Should, is this going to be a knockdown dent first or, or a push first dent? So right now I think we're just going to release a little bit of that tension like I said here. We're not going to go, excuse me, get greedy. We're just going to release a little bit. Make sure you guys can see. really knocking down pretty dang good. And it does have a little bit. Really, I can whack is really good with this tip. The only thing I, you gotta make sure is that the tip stays straight. You see how if it goes like that, you don't want that. You want it, you want it nice and straight so you get a nice even tap. All right, before I go much, much closer or much further and in, in detail, I wanna show you why you're tapping down. Let's fast forward this clip and let me show you how it looks ahead of time how the metal flow actually works. Check this out. Now you can rewind it yourself going back and forth, back and forth, and you'll notice that that center is coming up. The low is actually getting smaller just by tapping down that main bottom crown below the center. The whole area is starting to shrink because that's where the shock wave, that's where the main part of the shock wave. So if you can imagine tapping down the rest of it as I'm going to show you in this tutorial. You find this pretty interesting now, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to place it, the shaft of it right in the center or close to the top of the center and work it down and kind of work it out cleaner. So. Now I'd strongly suggest using heat anytime you use the Standliner tools, especially the killer whale tail, because the tip or the edge of the whale tail on the side can actually crack paint if you don't have enough heat on here. So don't do what I didn't do. That's why I'm telling you, because I've cracked paint before, not on this, not on this repair. 
but I have before. So what I've learned, make sure you use heat. And honestly, as a smart PDR tech, you should use heat on probably about 90% of your repairs. Okay, I'm like, if you can see, I'm right up here. Putting a little pressure down on it, slightly rocking. When it's shot, I don't want to be in the shot here. Coming up pretty dang good. I don't want to be in the shot here. So I'm just going to get change the camera in a second. You can see it's moving the body line. And the thing with the with this tool, I honestly, it comes out even quicker and smoother when it's not as deep. It just wants to go. But we still got some tension to tap down right here and around here. I'll probably change the tip. So let me change the tip, get this ready, and then we'll come back to this next shot. All right, for this purpose here, I'm going to be using the raised crane tool. Uh, I'm going to gain some leverage off of the tire, and it's going to be much easier to use uh, using that tire. Oh, jeez. Gotta release some tension there. All right, so we're just coming to the end of it right here. Um, I've got just a, probably just a little bit of distortion. You see a little bit low here. Okay, and I got a little low over here. You can see the bend of the line right there. But we'll see, we're gonna just, again, I'm just using, I'm using that whale tail again and now I'm just going to kind of use the tip of it so I'm first I was rolling it a little bit and then I was taking a tip and just pushing this way okay pushing up 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 like that rock it rock it on the deeper parts coming down here to the bottom and then I can I can pinpoint it with the tip of that tool. You can rock it from one side and then use swing more aggressively to the edge of the tip. So you can real clean, or you can slide the tool. You get there, see? So you can slide it down like that. Put it with with the pressure. Okay. Make sure that you're inside the shaft. I mean, the shaft. The shaft's in the middle, and then push. Okay. Okay. This is uh, just before I'm actually sanding. You can see it's pretty dang straight, pretty clean. Um, just micro texture in there, which we're going to use a little bit of. Uh, toll cut, probably 3,000, maybe 2,500. But we're gonna just buff that out, sand it down, buff it, and it should be good to go. 
And just to give you a heads up on the last bitty bits, <laughs> what, uh, my student just took it, but I'm gonna give it back to him. I was using this tip. It's the MT series, and this is the uh, M18 MT. So this, what this does is pick out those little micro push marks that I was making with the tap downs, and uh, it really helps just really dial in the rest of that repair. So if you like this training tutorial, you're going to really love the awesome full 45 minute step-by-step -step breakdown on denttrainer.com. I'm talking hundreds of videos like this, it's a proven platform that helps anyone on any level, newbie or veteran, learn and get better at paintless dent removal. I'll post a link below and I'll see you on denttrainer.com soon.